Now, the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband, Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All of this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means... God is with us. When Joseph awoke from, the, from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife, but had no marital relations with her until she had borne a son, and she named him Jesus. So last Wednesday, I drove my daughter Maya back home from college. There was a scene that was repeated all around the country throughout this week and over the next few days. People are going home. They want to go home for Christmas. In my family and in your family, across the globe, throughout the centuries, it's been an annual pilgrimage that we make. The best place to be for Christmas is back home. Home to the real meaning of Christmas is why we come here to church also, week after week, year after year. Home to this magnificent spiritual truth that we hear proclaimed in the Bible today that God is love and that God is with us. The physical location of a home will change. We moved to a new home about a year and a half ago. But home, home is where you are with your family. Home is when your family is with you, regardless of where that place may be. Emmanuel is the Hebrew word for God is with us. God is with us. And in Jesus, God has chosen to be at home with us, and we at home with God. In Jesus, born in Bethlehem, Christ takes flesh. God becomes incarnate and dwells among us. In Jesus, we can choose to make our home with God and God with us. This is the great mystery that we celebrate at Christmas, isn't it? That God chose to dwell among us. That God has chosen to make God's home among us. And we choose to make our home with God. St. Paul shares this powerful message in his letter to the Romans in chapter 8 when he tells us so clearly that nothing, but nothing can separate us from that powerful love of God, not pain or poverty or violence or sickness. There is nothing in heaven or on earth or rulers or kings or angels or demons that could ever separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. That is a powerful bond of love, an unconditional love, an eternal love. So welcome home, sister, brother. Welcome home to the heart of God. God is with us. There was an 88-year-old woman who had suffered a debilitating loss of, of memory. And her family made the extraordinarily difficult decision to place her in a nursing home where she would receive the care that she needed 
and could stay safe as she needed to be. But at Christmas time, they brought her back home. It had been a long time since she really showed any recognition even of her own children. But they did as they had done when they were back home for many Christmases before and they gathered around the piano and they sang Christmas carols and as they sang Silent Night they could not believe what happened. Their mother who had not said anything for a long time started to sing along with them to sing Silent Night. The daughter who told this story described it in this way that mom was singing too. And she was singing softly, but she was singing on key, and she remembered the, wor the words. And they smiled at her, and she smiled at them, and she nodded in recognition. It was a moment of incredible warmth, incredible joy, a moment of incredible blessing and, and, and beauty. That even when she showed no recognition of others around her, even when she seemed incapable of responding in other ways, that that song of Christian faith was still alive, deep in her memory, deep in her soul, beneath the frost line of illness and, and, and loss. And the Christmas song went on. She was home. She was home again. And I believe that in each one of us, deep in our souls, below the frost line of doubt and cynicism that we sometimes struggle with, that we have a deep longing to be home again for Christmas, to come back home to where the manger holds the redeeming, powerful Savior back to that unending love, that eternal, unconditional love, that sustaining, healing love of God. And so we come back home, back home for Christmas. That's why Christmas is so special, isn't it? Because it reminds us of that eternal story and that powerful love. This is the good news. Emmanuel. God is with us, and we are back home when we choose to be with God.